Hello again, how are we doing? So, we are gonna get ready to write. But before we actually write, I want you guys to do some activities. So today is all about getting your hands and your muscles ready for writing. All right, so I'm hoping that everyone has this at home. If you don't, we'll find something else for you to use, okay? So in my hand, I have something that I use when I wanna, after I do my laundry and I wanna hang my clothes out, I need these so that my clothes stay on the line. Do you know what it is? It's a clothespin. So if you have a clothespin, I want you to put it in your hand, whichever hand that you use to write with. If you write with your right hand, put it in your right hand. If you write with your left, put it in your left. And I want you to put it between your thumb and your pointer like this. And I want you to just squeeze, just squeeze it and get those muscles ready, okay? And then I want you to change and go like this and get them ready. Just as long as you want, just squeeze. Okay, and also with these same clothespins, if mommy and daddy will allow you, let them pour something, whether it be dried peas or grains of rice or whatever the case may be, whatever they allow you to use, I want you to take it Try to pick up something with it. So you're going to use it to grab the rice or grab the peas and try to pick up as many as you can with it, okay? Also, if you have a ball, my ball is soft, but if you have a ball, any kind of ball, small ball, it has to be able to fit in your hand. Not a huge one, not a uh, football, sorry. Not a volleyball, not a basketball. Something small. I want you to take it and I want you to roll. Roll it in your hands. Squeeze it. Use your different hands and squeeze it. And again, roll it. Roll it inside the palm of your hand. And then squeeze it with your fingers. I want you to do different exercises. If you have Play-Doh, I want you to do the same thing. I want you to roll the Play-Doh in your hands, roll it on the table, back and forth, back and forth, right? And then squeeze the Play-Doh. Do that as many times as you can, right? Because I want you to get these muscles ready. Also, I want you to open your hands wide, stretch them, and then bring them in. Slowly stretch them, bring them in slowly. And I don't want you to just grab, I want you to like wrap, like you're wrapping your hands around something, right? So open your hands and then wrap them around slowly. Open your hands, wrap them around slowly, okay? The next thing I want us to do we're going to do some exercises that's going to get us ready for writing. So we're going to do some strokes. So we're going to get a paper and a pencil, not a crayon, a pencil and paper. It can be blank. It can have lines. It doesn't matter at this moment. Only when we start writing our actual letters will that matter about you having the lines. But for now, we're just working on our strokes. So get your pencil. I have a marker so that you can see it. I want it to be big. Get a pencil. And I'm 
show you what I want you to do. So, all letters are, are a bunch of lines and curves. So, what I want you to do is practice your line. So, I want you to draw a standing line or some or a straight line. Standing line. Standing. And then we have our resting line. I want you to draw some of those. Okay? I want you to draw some slanted lines. So you're going to slant to the left. Slant to the left. Slant to the right. Slant to the right. Okay? And the next thing I want you to do is do some curve lines, right? So we're going to curve to the left, curve to the right, as well as curve up and curve down. So I want you to get paper and I want you to fill it up with these types of lines and curves, okay? This is essential for you to do and I want you to try to get your lines as straight as possible. I'm not asking for perfection, but I want you to try. Practice. Keep doing it. And it doesn't have to be like mine because mine is not full. My paper isn't full. My board isn't full. I want you to fill your paper with different types of lines. And remember for this line, you start at the top and you come down. Oh, that wasn't straight. Sorry. Start at the top and you come down, right? And for your resting line, you start at the left and then you go to the right. Slanted lines as well. You start at the top, slant to the left, start at the top slant to the right, okay? So fill up your paper with all these different kinds of lines and curves. Please send it to your teacher so we see what you have done with your lines and your curves, and we're gonna get you ready for our next lesson. We don't write, we don't practice our writing in alphabetical order, and you will see that from next week. We will start talking about our straight lines. So we're going to go back and we're going to start our straight lines. We're going to practice our straight lines and then we're going to move to our slanted lines. Okay. So go ahead, get your paper, get your pencil and do as many lines and curves as you want and send it to your teachers so we can have a C. All right. Have a great day, guys. God bless you. Stay safe. And remember to listen to mom and dad or whoever is watching you at this time, okay? Have a good day.